Good morning and welcome to today's New York City Council Committee hearing for the Committee on Housing and Buildings. At this time, please silence cell phones and electronic devices to minimize disruptions throughout the hearing. Thank you for your cooperation, Chair. We're ready to begin. Thank you, Sergeants. Good morning. I'm Councilmember Pirina Sanchez, Chair of the Committee on Housing and Buildings. Joined today by my colleagues, Councilmember Hudson, Councilmember Carr, Councilmember Aviles, Councilmember Ressler, Councilmember Dinowitz, and Councilmember Shauna Breu. Today, we are voting on proposed intro number 6A in relation to tenant education and outreach on residential vacate orders due to damage caused by fires by Councilmember Aviles. Displacement following a fire or structural problem in your home is one of the most disruptive experiences a family can have. Imagine running for your life, barely remembering to grab your shoes, probably insufficient clothing, and certainly not your wallet or identi identifying information, only to stand or sit on a sidewalk for hours looking up, not being sure what is next. This happens in our city about 2,000 times per year. In New York City, we thankfully have some processes designed to help New Yorkers through these destabilizing times. Gratitude, of course, to our first responders who risk their lives to pull us out of fires and emergency conditions. The American Red Cross, who has a contract with the, housing, with the Department of Housing Preservation and Development, they visit fires and other emergency sites to help residents with emergency shelter and provisions in certain circumstances. And our agencies, from emergency management to the Department of Buildings, Housing Preservation, and Fire Again, who each play different roles to ensure our buildings are safe and that there is some degree of interagency coordination. Yet for all that we have in New York City, we can and we must do better. On dozens of occasions in my own three years in office, I have visited fire sites, and I know my colleagues have as well, discovering myriad issues. Buildings, the Department of Buildings or HPD didn't issue a vacate order when they were supposed to, ARC wasn't notified and residents were left in limbo. And the displacements can be and often are long lasting, bless you. In the first four months of fiscal year 2024, the average length of stay for single adults in emergency housing shelters was 592 days, almost two years. The average length of stay for adult families was 464 days, and the average length of stay for families with children was 337 days. Today, we're voting on proposed intro number 6A, sponsored by Councilmember Aviles, which would require HPD, in consultation with DOB and FDNY, to develop procedures to ensure that occupants of multiple dwellings are informed of the processes for the issuance of residential vacate orders following fires, and provide those residents with resources on how to cope. I'm happy to work with my colleague in passing this important legislation and urge all of my colleagues to vote aye today, along with my bill that's being heard in the fire committee, uh, intro 89, which will also increase the access to information about fire so that more individuals, more New Yorkers can have support following the destabilizing event. Together, these bills are part of a joint effort to make information more accessible to the council and to the public where, when there is a fire. I will now call on Councilmember Aviles to speak on her legislation. Good morning. Thank you so much, Chair Sanchez, and, and thank you to my colleagues for all their work, uh, for all their work on this bill. And I, I just want to say I thank the residents um, and the importance of providing accessible information during emergency moments for our residents is so critical in language accessible ways. Unfortunately, we do have a lot of work to do to make sure that there's also accountability. We have seen so many fires where landlords have kind of not done, not kept their end of the bargain. Um, this will help city agencies make sure they're very explicit with the rights for tenants and give resources to tenants around where they can access resources. So I wanna thank everyone, including HPD staff who has been working on this. Um, and I look forward, Do I, am I voting now? Not yet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Council Member Villas, and congratulations. And with that, I will now ask the clerk to call the roll. Good morning, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on housing and buildings, proposed introduction 6A, Chair Sanchez. Proudly, aye. Congratulations. Dinowitz. Aye. Congratulations. Feliz. Abreu. I vote aye. Aviles. Aye. Thank you. 
Hudson. Aye, and congratulations, Councilman Bravilis. Rustler. I and also want to congratulate Councilmember Aviles on another great bill. Looks like every stated we're doing another great Alexa bill. <laughs> With a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. I'd like to thank all of my colleagues for attending today's hearings and members of the public. And with that, this vote is closed. FYI, finance.